from 95 till now do you ever imagine that this would have been your life and what are you most grateful for in business and in life I would have never thought from from 95 to where I'm now I would have never thought that I definitely knew and I definitely was you know uh, 100% positive on getting a position within the entertainment industry that I know for sure Mm -hmm. nothing was going to stop me from doing that um, how long it would last, I don't know. Um, but I know that, you know, when I put my mind to things and when I put my energy towards them, you know, I, I just, I feel like I can't fail. Not even coming from a, a cocky standpoint, no, more no, from no. a confident one of just like, I'm loyal, you know, I'm, I'm competent, I'm pretty decently smart. I'm competitive. I, you give me a task and I'm going to, and I'm a soldier. I'm a fucking like, I'm one of the best soldiers you'll ever get. So I may not be a general and I may not be a captain, and and I get that and I understand that I can be, but I choose to be, uh, you know what I'm saying, a loyal, on the ground with the people, a right? dedicated soldier who like who who can accomplish anything. So for me, you know, again, without sounding cocky, whatever company hires me, you're fucking welcome. Like, good job. Because yeah. trust me, yeah. what you're gonna get from me is you know one thousand percent. I'm gonna put you before you know anything in my life. You know, I mean, outside of my kids here and there, but like you know, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this project, opportunity, mm-hmm. artist, whatever the case is, I'm putting that shit first and you'll see the result of somebody who dedicates everything towards it, my life, mm-hmm. to somebody who just dedicates, you know, when it's convenient for them and God bless them. Mm-hmm. The most grateful part is me being able to, I think that God blessed me with working with my favorite artists, businessman, entrepreneur in the world, right? I begged God, I begged people, I begged everybody from 11 years old, legit, 12 years old, trying to get in the game. And he could have put me with anybody. He could have put me with, I'm not being funny, a one-hit wonder, a label that went or washed away in five years. could have stayed with P. Diddy. could have stayed. Yeah, I mean. I could have been, no, for real. I could have been anywhere. Him. And uh, no, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I went with Jay and I believed and I, I didn't even think Jay would be this big. I knew he would be the biggest in the game. But, you know, again, it, it, it preceded what I thought. But I know that it was the right decision. And I know. So I'm so grateful that, again, I didn't do shit. God put me in a position. Say, OK, you want to be in this business? You really mm-hmm. want to do this? You really mm-hmm. want to? Here, I'm going to put you with mm-hmm. the best that ever did it. That I can't. What? I, oh. I could stop today and be fine. So that's that's sort of the double answer for for you know in business and in life. And in but life. I mean, obviously, I'm great, most grateful for my children in okay. life uh, and, and and just you know the opportunity and then also the legacy that I get to leave mm. behind, being somebody you know who who made a couple of decent things happen in entertainment that hopefully they could be proud of and leaving you know um, leaving thirty years of of hip hop you know um, coverage and hip hop uh imagery behind uh for them and for imagery else. that will stand the yeah. test of time right they're gonna exist yeah, way hopefully. before we're all gone we're all talking about these covers and these yeah no hopefully yeah. hopefully so and right now my picture of nipsey hustle uh in the blue god bless mm-hmm. my brother nipsey is in the smithsonian oh. in, in dc you know so so it's it's obviously working you know what i mean what what i what i intended the marathon continues many yes thank you so much for being on the show